Welcome to Science at FMNH, a podcast and video series that explores the behind-the-scenes science, collections, and research at Chicago's Field Museum. Kish is a site in uh, ancient Mesopotamia, which is southern central Iraq. And it was a major urban center from at least as early as 3000 BC to about AD 700. The 1920s and 1930s were the heyday of Mesopotamian archaeology. Everybody was interested in studying the ancient Mesopotamian past and going out and finding treasures. And in the, in the pursuit of knowledge about ancient cult cultures, people were kind of fascinated by the past and the ancient civilizations. Stephen Langdon approached the director of the Field Museum and asked if the Field Museum wanted to co-sponsor this excavation, and they said yes. The site of Kish is important for a variety of, of different reasons. It was excavated by uh, a gentleman named Henry Field, who was a curator in anthropology. And Henry Field was related to Marshall Field, who gave the initial million dollars to build the Field Museum. And Henry Field ran a joint expedition to Iraq with the University of Oxford, uh, the Ashmolean Museum, and the National Museum in Baghdad to excavate uh, the site of Kish. They were looking for just about anything ancient that they would find when they broke the surface of the ground. And, you know, at a place like Kish, no matter where you go to dig, you'll find something. They found lots and lots of graves, lots of cemeteries of, of different periods. People in ancient Mesopotamia buried people underneath the floors of their houses. It was a way to kind of keep them close and safe, away from marauding animals and whatnot. So they would be buried in either just a simple pit under the floor of the house or in a little built brick tomb. A regular grave would probably have nothing buried with it. And then very wealthy graves would have had their, char their chariot burials at Kish, where an entire chariot with the animals that pulled it and with accompanying retainers of some kind or other are buried. So probably royal. Because it was excavated, we actually have very good provenience. We actually know where a lot of the materials that we have in our collection from the site of Kish are from within that site, which is really important for archaeology because if you know where things are from, you can say a lot more about them and a lot more about the site. The site is important because it was one of the earliest cities, one of the earliest urban environments in the world. Uh, the reason that we call this area in Iraq, modern-day Iraq, in Mesopotamia, the reason we call it the heartland of cities is because it was one of the first places in the world where cities first emerged several thousand years ago. We have the ability to not study just what happens within one little palace within an early, uh, early civilization, but also to look at, at what's happening within regions and between regions. And what's really interesting about that is, is that we can study not only how cities themselves grow over time, but how those cities relate to the environments that they grow up within and how they relate to one another. And that's where I think we really stand to learn. Well, Kish was very, very important to the ancient Mesopotamians in, from about 3000 to about 2000 BC. The most important title you could have in ancient Mesopotamia was King of Kish. That meant you were, it's like being the Holy Roman Emperor. And um, so it had that kind of significance from, from those years. The history of the Kish project goes back eight or nine years. Initially, very much wanted to do something with all this material, but had been, which had been kind of languishing here for years and years and years. And what we're trying to do, we took all these disparate records and put them all in a single database and photographed everything and are preparing a final publication which can be used by researchers. The material from Kish, because it's one of our few collections from the old world that we have very good context on, we can say a lot about it. And as a result, several years ago, the collection from Kish formed uh, a grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities to study that material. And then that led us to more grants from the Department of Defense and the Department of State that led us to not only to conserve the materials from Kish, but also to bring Iraqis over 
from uh, museums in Iraq after the war, after the invasion, uh, and to train them in the United States. So uh, this collection has been very important for a variety of different reasons, for the institution and for the discipline, because now several of the people who've been trained in our program uh, have gone back to Iraq and are now uh, leaders in, in institutions back in that country.